Hi, and welcome to another episode of Life Masters. I'm Tanya Mebby. Today we have Blake Leeper in the house. This is awesome. He's a Paralympic medalist, and you are a world record holder yes. for the fastest man, right? Yes, fastest man in the world on prosthetic, on prosthetic legs. legs. Yes, I that mean, is me. Is, <laughs> but the fastest man in the world, how does that feel? Uh, it feels awesome. You know, I, I, I try to, you know, always I, I tell people to humble yourself and, and stay grounded. But, you know, you, you put the work in. You manifest your destiny. You know, every day I wake up, I tell myself I want to be one of the fastest men in the world. Um, I broke the world record for amputees last year um, by going 44 seconds in the 400 meters. First amputee 44 ever. 44 seconds in the 400 meters. Yeah. I just, I can't even. Wow. Yeah. What was that but, moment like for you? Uh, it was, it was amazing. I actually just did an interview the other day and we started kind of talking about the power presence of just being in the moment and, and honestly just having that level of awareness. Yes. Like the, the second the gun goes off and you have to understand I'm running against individuals who have their legs. Um, and yeah, so it wasn't against other. It wasn't yeah. just you're all kind of uneven yeah. legs, you know, it around was, here. You're... I was the one. I was the only amputee in the race. It was a, a European indoor world champion, some of the fastest European runners in the world. So as soon as the gun goes off, they take off, and and I'm I'm go from last immediately. Um, Is it because you have a slower start? Because I have a thing? slower start because I'm I'm damn yeah, running in prosthetic legs. They have their ankle joints to push off on, and for me, I have nothing <laughs> to push off right on. so they right. take off and i just have to stay patient um and it goes back to trusting my training tr trusting my commitment trusting my work ethic knowing that towards the middle of the race I'm, I'm gonna catch back up with them um and when i do don't don't freak out just know that this is the plan this is what i've been planning on doing that i make my move in and it was like the last 50 meters of the race. I just kind of just took off and oh my goodness. I crossed the line. And I and I looked at the clock and I and then I seen the guys that was behind me and I was and it said world record and 44.4. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> I mean, so this isn't something that you expected either. Like, was this the first time you've ever raced yeah, like I mean, that before? It was the, my first time ever running even under 45 seconds. I've been running, you know, I've been running, you know, 40, 45 low and 45 old, you know, relative yeah. consistent times. And boom, it just it was like the perfect race on the perfect day. Um, I was relaxed and, yeah. I, and I let it just come to me. I didn't force it. You know, I always tell people when you try to go and force it, even in running, you try to force it, you tense up and you start doing the wrong things. When you relax and, and, and just stay calm and let it come to you and just Well, how do you feel it. about that, though, Blake, when it comes to life in general, that oh, whole concept? Yeah, it's um, it's something that I live by. Um, and, and it's tough at times. You have to understand, I was born without legs. Mm -hmm. um, the, the day that I was born, the doctor said I would never walk. Uh, fibula hemimilia. Um, and I always have this conversation with my mother and my father. Mm -hmm. Like, what'd you say? Like, you know, dad, who, who'd who you hit <laughs> when, when the doctors <laughs> right. told you that your baby boy is never going to walk a day in his life? And they give me the same answer over and over again. And they say, you know what, Blake? We was nervous at first when, when you, they first took you to ICU, but they finally brought you back. And we didn't see all the stuff that you was missing, but we seen the beauty inside of you. Right. And, and we decided to do two wow. things in that mm -hmm. moment. One is to stick together as a family. Mm -hmm. as a unit through the good, the bad, or the ugly. We're going to be in your corner fighting. Um, and, the, and the second thing, which is something that I tr truly believe in, is that we're going to keep a positive attitude towards the whole wow, situation. Wow, your parents are absolutely amazing. Yeah, they're amazing. amazing. Yeah, they are Which probably amazing. has a lot to do with where you're at in life right now, too, a right? Absolutely. Just the mindset that they, they instilled in me at an early age. Like, I had an older brother, and he, they were just like, Blake, he puts his shoes on. You put your legs on. Mm -hmm. There's there's nothing different about you. This is not a disability. This is just a different ability. Um, and once I kind of got a hold of that concept and say, you know what, I'm I maybe look different mm -hmm. than the normal person.